Hey everybody, Marshall here with a short episode to go over a few quick things. First off, thank you so much for all of the support since we started the Brewlosophy podcast. We seriously were not expecting the response to be anywhere near as positive as it's been. You know, we have like uh, ways of tracking stats and all that kind of stuff. And the amount of listens we're getting alone is just so phenomenal. And the feedback that we're getting is just so positive. Uh, we really, uh, really do appreciate all of that stuff uh, and just think it's really rad. So thank you so much for all of that. Thank you for listening and continuing to read and giving us those encouraging words. Um, at this point, Point, we've actually released five full episodes covering all kinds of different homebrewing topics uh, from mash temperature to fermentation vessels and stuff like that. The first one dropped mid-March and our plan then was to release one episode per month. Obviously, that is not how things have worked out. Everything we've done to this point has occurred in a matter of eight weeks. That's five episodes plus one other short little announcement thing like this, which I plan to do ever so often just to keep you in the loop all in a matter of eight weeks. Pretty cool. Uh, it's been a lot of work, a lot more than I expected. And, uh, you know, I, I, I suspect that that's not going to change too much. But I have to admit that I'm pretty pleased with how it's coming along. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing this whole podcast thing. And I'm really stoked to continue plugging away at this new thing. So what's the reason for this short episode? Well, we have been super busy with some cool stuff that I wanted to let our fans and supporters in on. And since I'll be camping off the grid this weekend, no access to cell phones or Wi-Fi or anything like that for Memorial Day, um, I'm not going to be able to record episode six. Figured I'd let you guys in on some of this stuff and uh, drop some announcements and updates on you as well. So first and foremost, I'm super excited to announce the official opening of the Brulosophy online store. I know it sounds trivial, but I'm telling you, this has been something that's been on our minds since we started selling t-shirts a couple years ago, and we've just been limited by logistics and other annoying crap like that. Well, we finally bit the bullet and the store is up and running. You can go check it out at brewlosophy.com forward slash store. We're currently uh, selling brutality belts there, taster glasses, stickers, and our hot off the press mesh back hats with our now copyrighted Brutron logo. That's the popular logo from uh, My Kind of Science t-shirts. Uh, those hats are in the store. They're selling like crazy. So snag yours before we sell out. We've got a whole bunch of other neat stuff on order. Uh, we're going to try to build up that store so that you guys have access uh, to the stuff that we are making. Now, speaking of t-shirts, that's one thing that we're not currently selling in the store. Unfortunately, uh, ordering t-shirts isn't as easy as you'd think. Uh, you gotta you gotta determine what sizes and what colors and what what you know what logos you want printed on those shirts and all of that stuff. And you have to have a place to store it all before people buy it. So we are looking into ways to set something like that up. I suspect it's going to take another four to six weeks before we actually settle on anything. So uh, until then, you can go check out our Amazon store. Just just uh, search for Brewlosophy and don't buy one of those shirts that doesn't have the umlaut on the back because those aren't ours that's somebody who stole our idea so that's that all right besides having more control over things one of the coolest aspects of managing our own sales is that we can now offer ba -dum -ba -dum, international shipping that's right our friends living in the uk australia new zealand canada or pretty much anywhere else in the world can now get their paws on the stuff that we sell uh, that's that's uh, Brewlosophy branded. So just go to brewlosophy.com forward slash store. When you put in your, uh, your zip code, your postal code, it's going to generate a shipping price for you. International shipping is not cheap, but it's actually not as bad as I thought either. So if you live uh, somewhere that's not in the United States, you now can buy some of our stuff and uh, we'll get it shipped out to you as soon as we can. Pretty rad. The next thing I wanted to bring up is the event that we're co-hosting with the Chop and Brew crew the night before HomebrewCon starts. That's June 14th, 2017. The Chop and Brew, with an umlaut, pre-funk party. If you're going to be at the conference and plan to be around Minneapolis-St. Paul a day early, you need to get your tickets now. You don't want to miss this event. I promise you that. We've been a little hush about how many people we can actually let in uh, to the pre-funk, mostly because we weren't sure if we'd even come close to selling out. But it looks like that's exactly what's going to happen. So here's the deal. We have room for only 300 people max. That's including all of the all of the Chop and Brew crew and the Brewlosophy crew. We can fit 300 people in Insight Brewing's space there that they're, that they're closing down for us. And since announcing it just a month ago, we've already sold 218 tickets. And that was as of the recording of this episode. Uh, they're going so fast. 
uh, meaning there's only room for 82 more people and we still have a month left to go. And if you're anything like me, when it comes to buying tickets, you like to kind of hold off to the end until you know for sure you're going to be there. This isn't one of those cases where you want to do that. Go get your ticket now because I do believe they're going to sell out quickly. So what is this whole pre-funk you ask? All right, listen up. I'm going to go through this really quickly because there's a lot to go through. The party is being held at Insight Brewing in Minneapolis on June 14th. It starts at 5 p.m. and last calls at 10 p.m. Included in the $30 ticket price is your first three beers. Two of whatever Insight has on tap plus one pint of the event only uh, beer that's being brewed by Insight using ingredients from BSG and Imperial Organic Yeast. We're calling it Short Vacation. It's kind of a higher OG table beer, if you will, Belgian and table beer. You'll also receive two entries into an incredible giveaway that uh, has prizes from, from, I mean, the prize packages alone are, to my, in my opinion, it's worth a $30 entry fee just to have two chances to win one of these things. A Grainfather Connect. Uh, uh, SS Brewtech is get, throwing in a, uh, a five-gallon BIAB like extract brewing kit. Uh, let's see. Spike Brewing is throwing in some kettles. We've got Brow Supply throwing in one of their amazing eBIAB countertop systems. We've got uh, Imperial Organic Yeast is giving away a whole bunch of their yeast. Uh, Bootleg Biology is giving away a bunch of their yeast. We've got LoveToBrew.com who's throwing in actually for, for every prize package one you get a brewlosophy recipe kit in addition to a t-shirt and some other uh, some gift certificates uh, Yakima Valley Hops and Hopsteiner are both throwing in some hops Gladfield Malt out of New Zealand an incredible maltster out of New Zealand is throwing in some stuff it's seriously an awesome giveaway that you don't want to miss you get two entries into that uh, for just for coming to the event Oh, but wait, there's more. There is so much more. We just got word that the Minneapolis Beer Choir is going to be gracing us with their drinking song, Excellence. Uh, I read about this this group, and apparently they what they do is they, they're kind of in the business of getting people to enjoy sing-along stuff at bars and stuff uh, wherever they go. So I'm pretty stoked to have them along. Uh, in addition to that, author and experimental brewing podcast co-host Drew Beecham will be hosting a fun trivia-based icebreaker. Scott Free, also known as Jeff Perkins, from yakimavalleyhops.com will be performing a set of his original rap songs plus the Twin Cities highly lauded karaoke DJ the infernal sing-along machine will be around helping us become better friends through music I cannot wait I'd love to meet you there for more information and to get a link to purchase tickets go to brewlosophy.com slash prefunk2017 that's brewlosophy.com slash prefunk2017 Avoid the FOMO and join us. It's going to be worth it. I promise. Okay, we are still collecting questions for our first Brew and A episode. If there's something you've been dying to know about any of us, what we think about certain variables, how we've changed over the years, or pretty much anything else, now is your opportunity to ask. You can email questions to marshall at brewlosophy.com. And please remember, as much as we appreciate the experiment suggestions, we are looking for questions to answer on the podcast. I want to take a minute to thank all of the sponsors who helped to make this podcast possible. I'm pretty picky when it comes to who I'll promote, and I mean it when I say that without question, I stand behind the people who have graciously offered to sponsor this podcast. It really means a lot to me. Lovedbrew.com has been a long-standing supporter of Brewlosophy, working with us to put out our very own recipe kits, which was just so cool. The brew bags fabric filters have become a staple in my brewery, and to this day, I rely on Jaded Brewing's King Cobra, and Hydra ICs to chill my work. Yakima Valley Hops is my go-to for hops. In fact, I can't remember the last time I bought hops from anywhere else. They offer the best prices for the freshest uh, hop varieties. Uh, just awesome people who really want us to continue bringing you guys this content and to keep providing you guys with awesome service. So please go let them know that you love their support of the Brewlosophy podcast by checking out what it is they have to offer. They'd appreciate it. We'd appreciate it. And I'm sure in the end, you guys would really appreciate it as well. Also to the readers and listeners who have chosen to support us by regularly using our affiliate links or committing to a monthly Patreon contribution, you all kick major ass. Thank you so much. I, I, it's it's easy to, to to say that this wouldn't be possible without you, but I don't I I, I mean that it, we wouldn't be able to continue doing this the way that we do it as often as we do it if we didn't have people like you supporting us. It's just that simple. Uh, for those who'd like to jump on the support train and help us bring you more content more often, you can head over to brewlosophy.com slash support to see how you can easily do so. Again, we'd really appreciate that. 
Okay, that is all I've got for this episode. I know it wasn't all that exciting, but if you made it through to this point, my guess is you're a true fan, and for that, I'd like to offer you a little freebie. Uh, with any purchase in the Brewlosophy store from now until May 31st, uh, I'll toss in a free sticker. Just make sure to type sticker me in the order notes at checkout. Again, that's sticker me when you're checking out. And uh, I'll toss in a free sticker with whatever whatever else you order from the Brewlosophy store, the, the fresh new Brewlosophy store. So thanks again for listening and for all of your support. We'll be back with another real episode in a couple of weeks. Until then, think beer. I love you, Daddy. I love you too, Olive. What are we doing right now? We're just doing something. Just doing something? I love you. I love you too.